Another YouTube again. Um, so here's pouring the mold. I, I checked with water and it leaks pretty good. So I sealed the entire thing with this snot, which is actually looks like snot, but it's actually pure beeswax melted with the Giles Precision Waxer, which is how you would do all the the wax work and stuff with um, with the mold when you have it and um, so here we go well sealed up on all ends just a nice bead of wax I could have done it with epoxy I am um, well, it's ready to go and so real quick <laughs> or real slow we'll mix up the goods It's super critical, but already well measured in this cup. Mm. That looks real good. Maybe a little high. Okay. A little high too. Mix it up real good. It says to do it for at least a minute. So here we go. Don't want to get too much air in there, although it softy gases, so so you just scrape the edge, bottom edge. I'm using the sticks they gave me. <laughs> so it should work great. And if I sealed this guy right, it shouldn't leak out because that would be a mess. I checked with water and of course the clamps by themselves won't keep the water in so no reason to think this would not leak out if water leaks out so it's thick but it's very much it's very low viscosity I would say Back in the past, this stuff would be set for 24 hours. It wasn't food safe. It, um, you had to run it in a vacuum once you mix it to get all the bubbles out. Uh, all that's gone. You could make fun little chocolate molds out of this because as it says right here, you know, Food contact safe, skin contact safe, and I'm not sure if that's before it's mixed up, but um, yeah, so, don't work with tin cure silicone. I'm not sure which part of it's platinum, but apparently there's, this is platinum silicone, and I'm very impressed with the test piece, it's very good, so. It says working pot life is 
three to four hours, which is great. Does it? Let's see. Yeah, self degassing pot life is about 50 minutes. So, and then it basically cures in three or four hours. And then the other skillful thing is the other part that takes skill is to then take a scalpel and release release the metal out of the mold. And in this case, without scratching the metal at all, and um, leaving cuts in the mold that will release the wax. So once you inject wax in there, you want to be able to pull that wax out, and you want. Um, the air in the mold to come out of certain places but mainly just to be able to without breaking the wax pull the wax out of so you got to plan your cuts you know, cutting free metal pieces from rubber molds is, uh, is actually quite a skill Once you got your rubber mold, theoretically you can uh, inject it with wax several hundred times. This seems strong enough for that sort of thing. Anywho, been mixing for quite a while. <laughs> I believe in mixing well. If you mix really well and you don't have any weird uncured little pockets, scrape the walls. Just mix away. It says to mix for a minute, mix for two. Scrape the scrape the stick on the bottom, scrape the stick along the edges. Get it all mixed in. Since it will have at least 50 minutes to degas, as in 50 minute pot life. So, there we go, the fun part, <laughs> uh oh, that's the problem, get yourself on stable footing. Looks like I miscalculated a little. I definitely wanted to hmm. yeah, that'll probably be all right. Yeah, shouldn't have been so stingy. Expensive stuff. I don't know how many times I may have to do this mold again.
Oops. <laughs> So let's see what I got here. Oh yeah, that's a good wall. That's a good three quarter inch wall in there. Okay. Just wanted a good, um, didn't want this to be, you know, eighth inch or looking for a good, um, a good half inch, quarter inch, um, pretty good that's just what I wanted fooled myself with this line this if if it was only sticking above the edge of the buckle this much not so good uh, and it is just the edge of the buckle so there won't be much wax pressure pushing bubbling it out and then here where it's real close uh, to the buckle it um, it won't um, it won't be able to push because when I'm injecting wax, I'll have a piece of metal or plastic compressing the um, the mold. So looks looks reasonable. We'll see how it cures. So I hope we get all the bubbles out. It looks like there's no bubbles visible. It's pretty pretty darn good. All right. <laughs> Sorry about the long video.